Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adazis. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the one company, Hillbo. This is the latest release in their premium display Pokeballs. So, without further ado, let's get it. Alright, guys, so on the front of the box, you have the Hillbo. On the left side of the box, you have the display case, display presentation case, and then the display presentation case with the Pokeball. And on the back, you have the Hill Ball Display Grade Electronic Replica Highly Accurate Metal Shell with Fine Detail Premium Painted Finish Advanced Touch and Proximity Sensing Technology Gorgeous Lift to Display Presentation Case with Touch Sensing Illumination Individually Numbered and Batteries Included So, let's get straight into the box guys, let's get straight into the box You can see all the dust on the top here is your manual, we don't need that, let's throw that to the side. And some styrofoam. And here you have it, your presentation case, which we'll start off with. Here you go, here's your heel ball display presentation case with a heel ball plaque. Here you go with a bit of styrofoam on there. Oh, that's new, I think. The silver Pokeball on top there. I think the other one on the dust ball, I believe, is black. There you go, there's your inside. And to get the lights to display, you're going to need to pull this tab. There you go, and then once you open it, there you go, there's your lights, and then when you touch the pack, the lights change, so green, yellow, blue, magenta, purple, light blue, cyan, and white, and then it rotates back to red, there you go, and that's your presentation case. Let's close that for now. Here is the hill ball. Oh, that is really nice. Let's chop that aside. Oh, that's a really nice Pokeball. Or oh, hill ball, should I say. Pull tab for the battery. I'm wondering, with this color code or this color scheme, how is the lights going to work? So, to activate the lights on the Pokeball, hill ball, you hold the button for like two seconds. One, two, there you go. And there you go. Oh, that looks actually nice. On camera, it's probably not going to show up as, as well. But it's touch proximity as well. So when you hold it, it lights up. And then if you take your hands away, which, there you go. Depending on where you hold it from, I guess. There you go. The lights will stop. I'll show you a bit of one in the glam shots. In the glam shots. And then, if you press the button, it should light up, I think red, or green, red being if you didn't catch the Pokemon, green being if you caught the Pokemon, so click it once, so it should flash a couple of times, there you go, and then red, oh that's not bad then, that's really not bad, I thought the purple on the Pokeball center itself would actually kind of Make the colours not look as great. Let's see if we can find the green. It's thing a 50-50 chance. There's a red again. And then if you click it again, hopefully it goes green this time. Red again. Come on, go green for me. Red again, wow. It's, it's doing this on purpose. It doesn't want to go green for me. Alright, so click it again. It's supposed to be a 50 50 chance, I believe. At this point, it's a 100% chance of being red. Wow. Click it again. And there we go, there's a green, which might not come up on camera too well. There we go. Hopefully, that came up well. And then, 
there's two ways to display it. You can display it in the presentation case, like so. I'd probably show you this better in the glam shots, but like so. You display it inside the presentation presentation case like so. And then for the next part where you display it with the ring on top of the Pokeball, you're gonna need a screwdriver. Give me one second guys. So once you've unscrewed it, it should pop out like so. There you go. You have your batteries, and then this is the ring that you use to display the Pokeball. If I can get it out. Come on. There you go. So you can display the Pokeball on top of the presentation case, like so. And then there's the prox touch proximity for the Pokeball itself. There you go. Or, without the presentation case, you can just display it, like so. The case itself is made out of plastic, it's actually kind of flimsy, I would like it if they made like a, um, I'd say more quality one, maybe metal or sturdier, it seems flimsy, but at the cost of these which is £99 in the UK, £100 technically, it would probably be more expensive if these were more quality, but that's what you get. And then the Pokeball itself, this has a bit of weight to it. This is like full on metal. This is full on metal and it's got weight to it. So definitely do not throw this guys. If you throw it, you're ever going to hurt someone or you're going to break something. So currently they have a Pokeball, a Great Ball, an Ultra Ball, a Premier Ball, a Dust Ball and with this latest release, the Heal Ball. And also the Master Ball, which is, I believe, limited to 500. I believe they only made 500 of those, which right now, psh, market price is expensive. I do love the way these Pokeballs look and feel, so I'm definitely going to be collecting all of them. I do also have the Great Ball, which I will be recording soon. So if you want to see that unboxing, subscribe, turn notifications on. And the moment I upload that video, you'll be notified and I'd appreciate it if you do. And there we have it guys, the one company heal ball. If you enjoyed this video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and see you on the next one. Peace.